and to find that creativity to see where she likes to pull things from and just really how she listens to music. <laughs> The show was uh, even more electric, um, knowing that I had a, a little bit more to enjoy for. Travis Kelsey lifts Taylor Swift. Picture the sun dipping low on the horizon, the desert air buzzing with excitement, and the beats of Dom Dalla's performance pulsating through the Coachella crowd. But amidst the sea of swaying bodies, there's an unexpected sight stealing the show. Travis Kelsey, the gridiron gladiator known for his prowess on the football field, lifting none other than Taylor Swift above his head like a modern-day Hercules. In a moment that could easily be mistaken for a scene out of a fairy tale, Travis showcased his strength and chivalry in epic fashion at Coachella. As Dom Dalla's tunes electrified the atmosphere, Kelsey smoothly maneuvered through the crowd, his eyes fixed on one person, his girlfriend Taylor. With a grin that could light up the night sky, Kelsey effortlessly scooped up Swift, hoisting her above the throng of concert goers like she was weightless. Now let's talk logistics. For a moment, Taylor Swift, the music industry titan, stands tall at 5 feet 11 inches. That's not exactly what you'd call petite. Yet Kelsey, with the finesse of a seasoned pro, lifted her with the grace of a ballet dancer executing a perfect pirouette. And here's the kicker, not a drop of Swift's drink was spilled in the process. I mean, come on, talk about boyfriend goals. As the video of this awe-inspiring moment made its rounds on the internet, it was like wildfire spreading through a dry forest. Fans and onlookers were left in a state of collective jaw drop. Comments flooded social media feeds faster than you can say Coachella, with everyone from diehard Swifties to casual observers marveling at Kelsey's feat of strength. But beyond the sheer physicality of the act, there was something deeper at play here. Kelsey's gesture wasn't just about lifting Swift above the crowd, it was a symbol of unwavering support and adoration. In a world where relationships often feel like a chaotic game of tug-of-war, Kelsey and Swift showed us what true partnership looks like. Steady, uplifting, and filled with boundless love. So the next time you find yourself in the midst of a crowd, straining to catch a glimpse of your favorite artist on stage, just remember the tale of Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift at Coachella. Because sometimes, amidst the chaos and clamor, love has a way of lifting us higher than we ever thought possible. And to find that creativity, to see where she likes to pull things from, and just really how she listens to music. Off the field, love life, man. They are invested, man. Coachella date night. Let's rewind to that magical weekend at Coachella when the desert heat was on and the music was even hotter. All eyes were on the star-studded event, but amidst the glitz and glamour, there was one duo stealing the spotlight, Taylor and Travis, affectionately known as Trailer by fans worldwide. Now, we all knew these two were a power couple, but boy, did they turn up the heat at Coachella. From the moment they stepped foot on the festival grounds, it was like a scene straight out of a rom-com. Swift, with her signature red lipstick and lethal dance moves, arm-in-arm -arm with Kelsey, the gridiron god with a heart of gold. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the first notes of the music filled the air, Trailer drove headfirst into the Coachella experience. They weren't just there to be seen, they were there to soak in every moment, from the electric performances to the backstage shenanigans. And let me tell you, they didn't disappoint. And, uh, you know, any chance that I can, you know, show my support to her and knowing that she's shown me all the support in the world. She's all in, man. She's, she's all in. She's, she's a Chiefs kingdom now. One more for <laughs> <laughs> the one video of of them showing me and Taylor and then panning to you and Marshmello. There were some great. From grooving to the beats of Jack Antonoff's band Bleachers to getting a special shout out from the one and only Ice Spice during her set, Trailer was living their best life. And can we talk about their public displays of affection? It was like watching a real life fairy tale unfold before our eyes, with Swift and Kelsey stealing kisses and whispering sweet nothings in each other's ears. But what really set Trailer apart was their genuine enthusiasm for the music. They weren't just there as VIP spectators, they were there as fans, cheering, dancing and singing along like nobody was watching. And let me tell you, 
the crowd couldn't get enough of it. Fans were buzzing with excitement, snapping selfies with the dynamic duo and posting them all over social media faster than you could say Coachella. And it's definitely been fun to uh, experience her taste in music, for sure. I mean, she's so amazing at what she does. I just have a great time with these things. Taylor, how does it feel? How does it feel? Taylor thrives in those situations. She's been in them yeah, she's countless times in her life. So it's uh, one of the funnest that she's played at. So uh, for them to show her is uh, just kind of, I guess, showing her some, uh, some love. So Sushi date over Coachella. All right, let's set the scene. The Coachella weekend, the hottest ticket in town, and everyone's clamoring to get a glimpse of their favorite celebs rubbing elbows in the desert oasis. But while the masses were flocking to the festival grounds, Taylor and Travis had other plans up their stylish sleeves. Instead of diving headfirst into the Coachella chaos, Trailer decided to opt for a more low-key affair, a sushi date night at none other than Swift's go-to spot in Los Angeles, Sushi Park. Hand in hand, they strolled into the upscale restaurant, leaving the paparazzi scrambling to catch a glimpse of the elusive couple. As they settled into their private booth, surrounded by the tranquil ambiance of the restaurant, it was clear that Swift and Kelsey were in their element. Dressed to the nines and oozing their effortless chic, they epitomized Hollywood glamour with every move they made. But what really set this date night apart was the sense of intimacy and privacy that Swift and Kelsey cherished. Yeah, for sure. You always kind of have that feeling or that, uh, it's self-awareness, I guess. Taylor absolutely ripped it. She killed it. And it uh, looked like she was having some fun up there. I think we're both uh, very uh, career driven. I think we both uh, love what we do. Away from the frenetic energy of Coachella, they were able to savor every moment without the prying eyes of onlookers. It was a chance for them to connect on a deeper level away from the glare of the spotlight. As they savored each delectable bite of sushi, their conversation flowed effortlessly, punctuated by laughter and stolen glances. It was a reminder that amidst their larger-than-life personas, Swift and Kelsey were just two people who enjoyed each other's company in the simplest of moments. Uh, of, on this side, <laughs> just two, two, people, <laughs> two people in love and enjoying the moment together. I think it brings a little bit more to the atmosphere, brings a little bit more to, to what you're watching. It's, it's very eye-opening to me, so it's, it's been fun uh, getting to hear her taste on it. Public displays of affection. Hold on to your hats because Taylor and Travis just took their love to the neon-lit dance floor at the legendary Neon Carnival in Indio, California. If you thought Coachella was the pinnacle of celebrity sightings, think again, because Trailer just upped the ante with their public displays of affection that had everyone swooning. The carnival lights casting a technicolor glow over the night sky, the air buzzing with excitement, and amidst it all, there's Taylor and Travis, the power couple of the century, stealing kisses and melting hearts left and right. It was like something out of a Hollywood romance movie, only better because it was real. Witnesses couldn't believe their eyes, as Swift and Kelsey unabashedly showed their affection for each other, proving that when it comes to love, these two don't hold back. From sweet embraces to passionate kisses, they were the epitome of couple goals, leaving onlookers cheering and reaching for their phones to capture the magical moment. But what really stood out was their decision to attend the Neon Carnival despite skipping the first night of Coachella. It wasn't just about the glitz and glamour of the event, it was about showing support for their friends and collaborators, like the talented Jack Antonoff, whose band Bleachers performed earlier in the evening. It was a testament to their loyalty and dedication to those they care about, further solidifying their status as not just a couple, but a dynamic duo who lift each other up in every way possible. Kelsey as a potential father. Buckle up because we're diving into some serious relationship tea. Taylor and Travis might just be thinking about the pitter-patter of tiny feet. Yep, you heard that right. 
Reports are swirling that Swift sees Kelsey as father material, and let's just say it's got fans buzzing faster than you can say baby fever. Now, before you start envisioning tiny football jerseys and baby-sized guitars, let's break it down. Swift reportedly views Kelsey as more than just a boyfriend. She sees him as a potential partner for marriage and children. And can you blame her? I mean, have you seen Kelsey with that winning smile and those swoon-worthy moves on the football field? It's enough to make anyone weak in the knees. You gotta fight for your right to fight! It's been a unexpected ride that, uh, that I've just been having a blast with. But it's not just Kelsey's athletic prowess that has Swift swooning, it's their growing closeness and comfort in their relationship that's got her thinking about the future. Whether they're enjoying quality time together during their breaks from work or stealing kisses at star-studded events, Swift and Kelsey seem to be in it for the long haul. Of course, when you're one of the biggest names in the music industry, logistics become a real thing. And Swift isn't taking any chances when it comes to protecting her financial interests. Enter the prenuptial agreement. Yep, even lovebirds as adorable as Swift and Kelsey aren't immune to the realities of the world. But hey, it's all about making sure everyone's on the same page, right? That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.